Hi and welcome to another video. Today I just thought I would do a little quick thing. It's a bit of a fob off video. Don't hate me. Next week's will be better, I promise. I know I said that last week as well, but I promise you next week's will be better. Today I just wanted to do a video on the Molly, about the Molly May Curl Kit. Now I've seen a lot of people go off on this online saying that it's only really good for extensions or if you have hair that have extensions in and that for people with normal hair like the curls don't hold or anything like that. I actually love this tool and I've been using it non-stop since I got it. I haven't had a chance to really wear it as much going out because I got it for my birthday last year. Basically if you are completely unaware we are in a global pandemic which means we can't do anything or go anywhere so it's not really been used much for like going out the house but I do use it a lot for like photos and stuff like that and I really like how it works for my hair so I thought I'd do a video on it and then I can show you all how I do it and how I get it to work. The first thing I should probably do is just give you a quick rundown of the actual curl kit. So it comes in a bag like this, it opens up like that, you get the curl kit, you do get a glove, I don't know where mine is because I don't use it, um, you get one of these brushes which is manky, hang on. You get one of these brushes which just completely unrelated to the full curl kit, this is my favourite brush ever, like this brush has changed my life in general. It's like a tangle teaser but with a handle, like honestly it's unreal. As well as that you get some of these clips, I believe you get 10 in total. I don't have mine in the curl kit anymore because I keep them all stored um, in one of these bags because I do have some other like black ones as well. So I keep them all together. So I'd, yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of it. We're going to talk about the products that I use. I'm upping my hair game a bit this year. I don't know if you guys have seen, I forgot what her name is now. It's Lily something on TikTok. And she posts like hair oils and shampoos and everything that like are meant to be really, really good for your hair. So I've been using some of them at the moment. I say at the moment, for the past week, I've been really trying to get into my hair. And I really think I've done, I've done well so far. So I've got my curlers set here. Um, I've put them on 200. And we're going to go for that. The first thing that I'm going to start off by using is a bit of heat protectant. Because it is one of the most important things when curling your hair or doing anything like that. At the moment I've been using the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I like this one because it protects your hair up to 450 degrees or 450 Fahrenheit, one of the two. Um, I should probably check that actually. But no, I do really like that one for this. And then in addition to that... You, typically if I'm straightening my hair or something, I do always go through with an oil. The one I've been using at the moment is the Nux. Oh, where's my clip? Okay. I always separate my hair and do the bottom first and then go on top. Because when I'm doing the bottom of my hair, I'm not too bothered about the styling. Like, I just want the curl. But then when I'm working on the top of my hair, it's more focused on the styling. So, we're going to take our curl wand. I'm going to take a section of hair. And then I always curl away from my face. Always. Literally just going to let this sit for like 10 seconds, if that. The easiest way to get your curls to last for longer is this part, it's when you're setting them. So once they've been curled, I literally, I just dangle it on my thumb. <laughs> and I let it, like I will let it set to my thumb before I then pin it up and curl it up. See a lot of people curl the hair and then start rolling it. In my opinion, because it's still hot, it's not going to, like the curl's not going to hold as well. I don't know if that's me, so I literally just let it set and then because it's cooled down a bit more now I'm just going to curl it up uh, away from the face still and just pin it in like so. It can look a bit messy, it really doesn't matter. Literally you're just pinning it for the time being. Okay, another piece of hair, I'm just going to go in and do the same thing. This one's a bit thicker so I'm probably going to leave it to sit for a little longer on the curling one but we'll just keep going with it. So, I mean, as I was saying when I started the video, I'm really trying to take better care of my hair. Um, I'm 21 now and I started bleaching my hair first of all when I was like 12, 13. So yeah, it's sort of, I've been bleaching my hair for a long time now. I do think it's time to get some like really good hair care. I'm trying to think of like the products that I've seen. There's, there's the Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner that I really want to try and the, I'm trying to think of the other products. If you've seen that Lily on TikTok, then you'll know exactly what I'm on about. Like her hair is unbelievable. She's a blonde as well, but I'm not sure if it's bleached or not. So I want to start the rice water. If you are on TikTok, you will know. Literally everything I do is on TikTok. So if you want to follow my TikTok, I will leave it linked down below. Um, but yeah, if you watch TikTok, then you will also know what rice water is. But I really want to give it a try because it looks like it's so, so good for your hair. And another thing I find with these curlers as well is that you don't need to do small sections. I do fairly big ones. Oh, well, I do fairly big ones just because I find that the barrel is really actually quite large so you can get away with doing a thicker curl. 
So just as always, just going to simply put it on my thumb here. Let it curl just around the shape of your thumb. I don't know why, this is always just what I've found best. Oh, okay, that's actually the top hair that's came off. I'll fix that in a minute. And then once you find it cool, curl it up and pin it in place with these clips. These clips really do not need to be neat. Okay, so now I've got one side done and you can sort of get what I mean. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll come back when we can do the top. Okay, so I've got the bottom half pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna move on to the top. So I just take it out of like the little bobbly thing. I'm sorry if you can see that as well. I got this top out of pretty little thing, like literally a month ago. And then the first time I wore it, um, that happened. So that's fun, isn't it? I must have fat armpits or something. Okay, so now we look a little bit crazy. Um, I'm just going to start with by taking the back section. So taking the back of the hair. And I'm going to do these ones a little bit bigger as well. Because I prefer big voluminous curls rather than little ones. And then again, we're going to curl away from the face. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe how much it's actually snowing today. Like, I wish I could show you. But I've got my hand in my hair, so I can't. Um, definitely going to take a walk in the snow after that's done and probably just I don't know I filmed a couple of TikToks today I'm not very good on TikTok I will leave a link down below if you want to follow me on TikTok they're not the great I'm really not gonna lie um I can't do transitions or anything like that like I just don't know how it all works but yes yeah, so I've been filming a couple of TikToks and in addition to that I've actually I started it last night but it's a long video so it's took me a while to go through I can't remember what the name of the YouTuber is let me take a look so the YouTuber's um, D'Angelo Wallace and it's his video which he titled Influencer 19 and it's basically about the way that like influencers and celebrities have been treating the pandemic that we are currently in. I'm going to leave a link to the video down below because he talks on some really interesting topics without the whole cancel culture. Like it's just factual, he's just talking about things that have happened, his opinions, um, and I like it because it's not fully spreading hate. I'm going to keep taking pieces of hair, curling away from the face. Um, I'm leaving my front bits because I always, always, always do them last. Because I pin them in place with a bobby pin. It's very different to how I do it. Like, you know, with um, the curls all around the back of my head, I do it differently. <laughs> I look fucking ridiculous right now. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the full head done. It's literally just my front bits. Um, left to do. I always leave these to last. It's the best way you can do it. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to brush the hair out and again make sure that it's curled away from the face. The front bits don't ever need as long either so literally you can count like five um, and then let it go. And then we're just going to hold the curl for a second. And just pin it back like that. For me, I find the way that I pin the front sections really determines how they're going to come out. Um, so if you can pin it with like a little swoop there, then you're going to get the swoop when you take the hair out. I hope that makes sense because all I did was make noises, but I know what I mean. I'm going to leave these in my hair. Typically, if I was to go somewhere or go out, I would leave them in my hair until I've done my makeup. So I would always do my hair first, then go on to makeup, then take it all out and go. Um, this time I'm going to leave it in I think about 20 minutes so I'll leave it in for 20 minutes just obviously for the purpose of the video and then I'll come back and we'll take them out. Okay so it's been about 20 minutes or so and I'm just going to start by taking them out. I'm going to start with the back top ones. Um, look if you can see when I take them out like that it just gets a proper springy little curl. Oh I've missed some hair there. And I always like to make sure just to give it a little curl so that the curl has set in the right place, in the right position. <gasps> all the back ones out and this is what it tends to look like for me um i'm gonna yeah we'll release the front babies too so when i take it out this is what it looks like so what i do next is i go in first of all with a fine tooth comb um a fine tooth comb this isn't fine it's like wide tooth a wide tooth comb and i'm just brushing all of them through there making sure that you keep twirling the hair that the curls like keep the shape 
and then once it pretty much looks like that apart from going through the front bits I'm just going to go through the bottom bits of hair and like I said creep twisting it and that's it that's literally just how I curl my hair for me this hair will last all day I don't use hairspray I never really have applied hairspray I do go in with a little bit of hair oil just to keep the ends of my hair sort of not dry so I'm just going to run in with a little bit of that as well this will also help with any frizz so if you have frizzy hair run a little bit of oil through it and that will help um, but apart from that that's literally it so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe it would really help me out like I said I want to get to 3k by March hopefully don't know if that's going to happen because we are sort of halfway through February now but anyways that is it so thank you all for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. I have a couple exciting things coming up. Um, I have a few video ideas, a few things that I'm wanting to do. A couple videos that I'm in the middle of doing right now. So hopefully over the next few weeks there will be some really good content on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.